Hi, I'm Shane from MyGrow. We've had a few queries about the series of videos that we did on reflective materials in the grow tent and the best material to use. Uh, I've tried to explain a little bit in the comments on the videos, but in fairness, the uh, explanations haven't been great. So I've been trying to think up a way of trying to demonstrate why the diamond mylar and the shiny reflective materials are better than the, the matte diffuse materials like uh, matte paint and the orca grow. So I've devised a little experiment and I'm just going to show you now quickly and hopefully this will uh, clarify for you. So I've got a little test rig here I'm going to show you and then I'm going to switch the lights off and going to show you a little um, demonstration of uh, why one is better than the other. So here we have the setup. We have a, a small lamp with a slit aligned here. And you can see straight away against the matte white surface, which in this case is just simply um, matte white paper. You can see that the light is reflecting in every direction of that surface. So if we take a measurement, we're going to take measurements of how much light is being reflective at three different points with our um, trusty, trusty Apogee SQ500 power sensor and we're going to show you the results. Just to show you the comparison, we flip over the diamond mylar sample, just align the light again. And you can see straight away that the light is coming in this direction and it's reflecting in an arc. And that arc is based on the angle of uh, the indentations on the material, but it's, it's diffusing it out, but it is directional. So it's, it's more or less all of the light is going in that direction, which in the grow ten sense will be down onto your grow, which is exactly what we want. So let's hook up the sensors and do the measurements and see what we come up with. So here we are at our test rig getting everything set up. We've got our light source with the slit to provide us with a beam. So we align that along the 45 degree line and directed at, in this case, we're starting off with the diamond mylar here. And the light source is representing, it could be your LED panel or your HPS system. And this is a beam, a light direction beam coming down, hitting off the side wall of the tent and being reflected down onto your grow. And we're going to take three power measurements for PPFD. At these three points, you'll see the, the outlet here. See the result? This is in tens of power. And we're going to take the three measurements, one for the diamond mylar, one for the matte white, and uh, compare the totals. So let's start off. So our first measurement for the diamond mylar is 30. This is in micromoles per meter square per second. It's a PPFD measurement. The second one is 40. And the third one is 30. So total is 100 divided by three to get your average, which is 33. So let's flip the sample over to our white sample. And line everything up. So in this case, our first measurement is barely registering, it's 10. Our second measurement is just hitting 20. We'll give it 20. And our third is 10. So not much. Uh, average across the three is 40. Divided by three is 13.3. So we have 
300%. More light being reflected by the diamond, diamond mylar than by the matte white paint. So hopefully this explains it. Hope you liked the video. If you did, please subscribe and take care.